This is Kirk and his Vista Cruiser. We're going to work on his door for him today. Kirk, tell us just a little bit about your van. Miles, years? Um, we've got about 150,000 miles on it. It's a 2005, I believe that's a 144 or 158 wheelbase. 158, uh-huh. Take a look at how the door closes right away. Rattles a bit. And it doesn't close. It still didn't close. There we go. Now it closed, but it was good for that all the time. And then some of the things that I've done, I've tried to adjust these thinking that would do something. I put this on here so that this knows that it's closed. And I think I may have adjusted this at some point as well. Yeah. This one looks like it's not rubbing real bad. It's fairly, you know, it's got the anticipated marks. Mine, some places you can see, it's been rubbing really hard for a couple okay. of years before I got to fix it. This one's rubbing a little bit harder down here. And yeah, we've got some good wear there. Just rubbing my finger, I see sparkles coming off. Yeah, so we're gonna get that lined up a little better. Okay. Now. Oh yeah, it's hitting way on the inside there. And up here, also we're hitting inside too soon. Getting started here, gonna put some stinky stuff in the uh, in the works of it all. And right away I can see the gap here. That our other video on the door shows that can be adjusted some while we're at it. Yeah. And I tried to adjust some of this stuff when I took this off, so you know. Okay. But I didn't put whatever you just put on there. Yeah, just a little lubricant. Okay. It's kind of stinky, yeah, but it really does a good job. Something. And down here, it doesn't look like it's rubbing too bad. The top of this a lot of times gets scuffed up from rubbing, or underneath here will drag. I don't see either of those happening. I do have new parts for the door, but it doesn't look like your rollers are bad. Really? Just a little bit malaligned. Okay. They're still rolling. I didn't know if it was anything in the back. These often get flat on one side, and all three of them up there are still rolling like they ought to. They're okay. round and spinny, so we'll keep them spinning. Oop. I should put that behind it. There we go. This roller right here. Oh, there we go. To fix the closing problem right away, the, we'll start with the, if you will, the customer complaint. The, the reason it's here. We'll start by fixing that. I'm gonna break that loose. And break that one loose, noting where it is starting. It's pushed all the way in there, just as far as that adjustment will go. With those just loose now, maybe a little looser. There we go. Now with those loose, we can pull the bottom of the door out some. That's gonna be way too far. We'll start there and see how that works. And we're going to do the same thing up here. And likewise, you can see the adjustment is all the way to the inside. If we loosen that up, we're going to pull the door out a little bit. Oh, but I need a bigger bit. All right, now I'm going to keep my hand over there. Oops. Oh, way too far. Push it in a little. There we go. Good? Yep. So you can see we've moved it not near halfway out yeah. through the adjustment, just a little bit. I think we've achieved the goal here because both of those pins are pushing in the center of the hole. They're not rubbing either one right now, uh, but we don't have it latching back here yet. So as you can see, when I push in, it just kind of springs back. 
So the next thing we're going to adjust is right here. We're going to bring this out a little bit. Okay. And again, I'm looking at where it's lined up already, making sure I've got that marked. There's a, a, a mark back here like it's already been moved. So I'm just kind of making a note of that. Make sure I don't confuse that with where we started. Uh, that was, again, I moved it too far right away. Lean it down a little bit. There we go. All right, let's try it again. Oh my goodness. All right, you want to come inside? Let's see how that's connecting over there. Is it? Yeah, we'll take that off and have a closer look. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. There is something amiss with this cable back here. I don't know if you can see up here, the cable is broken. And I guess I'm gonna have to take the mechanism out, out of the door. This mechanism is where the cable goes to, so we're gonna take this whole mechanism loose here and get it out of the, get it out of the door. <laughs> So we've taken all the screws out, and there's the problem with the cable. That little thing is broken off of there. Yeah, we could probably get away with. And what was happening was we were having to pull on the handle like numerous times to get it to try and open. Uh-huh. And hard, I bet. Every time you pull a little bit harder, yeah. <laughs> we could probably get away with getting that back down in there. If it'll go back in there. There we go. And gluing it. But we've got too many parts vans around here. If we can replace it, let's replace it. <laughs> Take that off. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, this is that definitely needs to come in some. Yeah doesn't look bent up here like mine was. Oh, right. end. Oops. Goes back in the door like so. So this comes around the back side, goes in this little hole right here, and clips back into there like so. There we go, right there for an instant. one. Okay. That's two, so the third one can't miss.
cable in there. Put this together. This is great. We're getting all kinds of information. Right. Paint jobs. Connie's in there looking at all the other vans. That was pretty cool. She showed us a picture of the something bed that stuck out the back thing. Oh, the pop-out one. Pop-out pop camper, yeah. There we go. Surgery. Just a little bit farther. Just a little tweak there. And we'll put it all back together. There, now those just about touch. Could have gone just a little bit farther on that. But I saw that on your video. That wasn't a problem to start with, so we're not going not gonna keep messing with it and make it a problem. <laughs> So we've spent about the last hour balancing this adjustment here, the height on that, and the height on this, and the height on this inside the door, as well as then aligning the height on this that the door engages to, and here where the door engages to, and down here where the door engages. So it's been quite a balancing act, but I think we got a good closing door and a good tight seal. We did replace this cable that was broken in the end here and the mechanism behind here had a crack so it, we replaced that as well. But that's a good tight closing door. Now my favorite trick is all this rattling. All that rattling. Uh, this window rattle we're not going to be able to do much with, but this metal rattle will take care of real good. That's a great sound. <laughs> this is an upside down can. Sealed good here, we're sealed good there. With the jug in there, we're pushing the bottom of the door out so it's cracked along the bottom, but that'll, well, yeah, that closes right up and no more air gap underneath. So I think that job is done. Mm -hmm.